In a close and personal way, this marriage is a uniting of these two families. By uniting together, each of you joins the family of the other to bear its strengths and promises into the future. And having this acknowledged is an important matter. And for this reason, I would ask this of the families from which you come. Do you, Adam, as a representative of the bride's family, accept Rich as Courtney's lifelong partner and thereby as one of your own? Do you, Jim, as a representative of the groom's family, accept Courtney as Rich's lifelong partner and thereby as one of your own? So, how did this all come about? You might know some of the story, you might not all, we shall see. So after chatting online, Courtney and Rich met at Bannerman's Bar in Edinburgh on the 28th of November 2009, where Rich was playing a gig with his band, Woden's Throne. From the start, they felt like they'd known each other for years. And at this point, they could never have imagined 10 years later, they'd be getting married. After this, they spent the next two years commuting between Scotland and England to see each other whenever they could. Courtney still has every travel ticket from then, which is 85 journeys. Rich then made the decision to join Courtney in Glasgow, where he's now lived for seven years. Rich took Courtney back to Edinburgh for their anniversary weekend and proposed on the 18th of April 2015. After five min minutes of waiting on a couple of women debating over the special board which was above them, Rich pushed a ring box across the table at Courtney and grinned. No getting down on one knee or making a fuss, but they've always been understated. Shortly after their engagement, Courtney got a shock health diagnosis which turned their lives upside down. Courtney couldn't get through any of it without Rich's unwavering love, enduring patience and constant support. is no knot of steel and Courtney and Rich are not joined to each other by force. But this is a strong knot because it's the will of Rich and Courtney to make it so. Today I marry my best friend. Today I marry my best friend. The one I have laughed and cried with. The one I have laughed and cried with. The one I have learned from and shared with. The one I have learned from and shared with. The one I have chosen to support. The one I have chosen to support. Today I marry the one I love. Today I marry the one I love. I have much pleasure, Rich and Courtney, in declaring you married and pronouncing you husband and wife.
myself, my beautiful new wife, Courtney. So, so you may know, I do talk a lot of shite at the best of times, um, let alone when I'm nervous and I've got a drink in us, so I'll try and keep this brief. Um, I'll be asking you to raise your glasses uh, at some point in the next 45 minutes, so please make sure you uh, sorry, four or five minutes, I mean, uh, uh, so please make sure your glasses are full, or if they're empty and you've necked just pretend and hold them up anyway. Uh, so, I'd like to thank everyone who's helped this day come into fruition. Uh, please raise your glasses. My best man, Sean. Maid of Honor, Emma. Bridesmaid, Jocelyn. Flower Girl, Georgia. For all the help and taking part in our special day. So I'd like to give our mums a gift. I've not seen my mum until the day, so um, I need to get those. Uh, I'd also like to thank and raise a glass to our amazing parents and step-parents, Lorraine and Adam. You've made me feel part of the family since day one, which I was very glad of. After a 10-hour journey up here due to the fabulous service of the Megabus delivering us, uh, delaying us for five hours, um, Graham and Maureen for hours of entertainment with their interesting conversations about politics and football. I've learned a lot from that. Um, my mum and dad, Jim and Susan, um, for everything you do and for creating the legend I am standing here today. Um, so yeah, we can't thank you enough for everything you do for us. Cheers. Um, just thanks to Courtney's grand and granddad as well, Jim and Roberta, because honestly, like, you've always been there for us and you've helped us so much over the years and it's amazing to have you here today. Um, so, thanks to my brothers as well, Big John and uh, Phil, aka the infamous elite athlete and crossfitter, uh, DJ Zach Wild, who's uh, DJing later on as part of his world tour. It starts here. Uh, so, as I was saying, thanks for all making the effort to be with us on this special day. You all look fab. It's amazing some of the things you can get in Primark today. You look brilliant. So, um, so seriously though, it's amazing that people have travelled all the way from Finland, Denmark, England and even as far as Parkhead to celebrate with us today. It's really overwhelming in the best possible way. So just to be surrounded by all of friends and family that mean the most to us. We never imagined after meeting each other in a dingy rock bar in Edinburgh 10 years ago that we'd be here today getting married with each other. And I'll hand you over to my best man Sean, who's been a good mate for many years now. Um, whether he'll still be after a day depends on what he says in the next few minutes, but I'm sure it's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to it myself as well. Cheers. I'd really like to thank Courtney for uh, organising every single aspect of this. I mean, I was the best man and did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Look, seriously, I wrote my speech. I wrote this. It I finished it at 2 o'clock last night and I was talking to Rich and he's just like, are you, are you going to sleep now? I was just like, ah, oh, in a minute, when I finish this. But, I mean, she even sorted the kilts and by that, I mean, she uh, she got Rich's arse out of here and she's getting the kilts sorted. <laughs> we, uh, we, went, we spent a whole day travelling about the town, travelling to every kilt shop, all about the city, and yet we ended up in the first place we tried. He's like, actually, we like that first one. Can we just go back there? I've known Rich for uh, probably about the same amount of time as Courtney, but no as long because I wasn't in that rock bar when they first met, which is probably a good thing because if I was there, then it could be me sitting in a dress. <laughs> and, and nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Can we just take a minute to appreciate how good Rich looks in a kilt? It was it wasn't my idea. It wasn't my idea at all. It was like it was totally against it. He was just like, no, no, no help. I don't want to do it, but I think he looks amazing. But also, I think it's the fact that he took up kickboxing to look so good. I mean, he took up kickboxing to lose a bit of weight, but I think he also took up kickboxing because he knew he was going to spend the rest of his life with Courtney. <laughs> it wasn't to lose weight, it was for self-defense. <laughs> we went to uh, Newcastle for a stag do, and 
we had a great time. We actually had to cut it a bit short because Rich has lost so much weight. It just turns out he's a lightweight now and he can't drink for, I don't know if I that, but he can't drink anywhere. So I need these all to help me keep an eye on him because he's a lightweight. Right, so we went down to Campbelltown a couple of years ago for a whiskey festival. That's how, that's how me and Rich actually properly cemented our own friendship. We went down to camp over whiskey. I mean, has anybody tried any of the whiskeys for our hip flasks? They're amazing. Right, but uh, we went down to Campbelltown. We go down every year and just for a love of Springbank, a love of whiskey. <sighs> this, this, this is actually quite sick. We went, to, <laughs> we went in one year and Rich actually spent so much money cleaning up the room. Right? He spent more money cleaning up the hotel room than he actually did in whiskey that year. And I just want to say, I hope the marital bed has rubber sheets. <laughs> I just want to, again, can you please raise your glasses to Rich and Courtney, like two of my best friends in the world, and I wish them nothing but happiness. Cheers. 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 Cheers.